William and Mary will have one less game this spring. Elon had to postpone its Saturday game against the Tribe because of COVID issues. But William and Mary fans have gotten to see at least two games in Williamsburg this spring. Craig Loper has that story. Well, the third football game of the season for William and Mary Saturday against JMU didn't go as planned, but I wanted to speak to fans at halftime and get their sense of what this spring season has been like and how William and Mary as an administration is addressing COVID-19. They said they feel safe and are ready for normalcy. What brought you out today? Good day to be outside and thought I'd come back to my alumni and uh and see if to a football game, but just discover they're not selling tickets. You know, it's been an odd season, but it's one of those ones to where you're just happy to have something. You know what I mean? When you've got a player that's out there and he's been working his tail off to, you know, get some playing time, you just want to actually see them get to, you know, get on the field. What's it been like so far taking the game in from out here? Well, you know, we get gets a little hazy through the bars and, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's okay. Well, this is, feels like a an expanded spring practice, even though they are going to come out in the fall. But it does, it's just so different for all of us. Uh, but we enjoy coming down here, it's great. It's a lot of fun, the weather's great. Um, we can't wait to come back down here again, but it's definitely a different environment. Not quite, not, not quite as many people around and tailgating or anything, so we really miss it. Now, throughout the course of this season, the only fans allowed into the stadium are guests of players and coaches. The stadium at COVID capacity, right about a thousand people. Reporting in Williamsburg, I'm Craig Loper for the Sports Wrap. Thank you.